first of all, I would like to remind you about the different distributions of Euclid that Eka is offering. Keeping in mind that there is only one Euclid software, so it's always the same Euclid that we have, but we have different ways of distributing it. We have the desktop version that is mainly used by single users to be installed on their local machines. We have the server mainly used by bigger organizations where they install it on a, on a server and then the same database is shared by multiple users. But starting from 2018, we also have the cloud distribution, uh, which is in the ECA cloud services, where we host by ECA, only for reach, CLP and skip uh, usage, uh, we offer a Euclid distribution. So in the ECA cloud service, the, in the Euclid cloud services, we're offering two different types of services. We're offering the Euclid cloud, which is free to use, uh, where we take the backup. Uh, it is up and running 24 seven, and it offers one gigabyte of disk space to be used. Of course, we always update it to the newest versions of Euclid whenever these are released. Quite often we release these uh, four times per year, where the downloadable and server version is only updated twice a year. Related to this release, we updated the existing instances on the 28th of October as well. One additional thing with the cloud is that there is a seamless submission of PCN and skip dossiers implemented, implemented so there is no need to uh, export and import them when you're submitting them. The legal entity is a bit different than in the other Euclid's because here it is synchronized with the login. So when you create your ECA accounts uh, and you subscribe to use the, the Euclid cloud, the legal entity information will be synchronized there. If you want to change your address, it is recommended that you go to the ECA account and change your address, and it will be then synchronized again to the legal entity. Other legal entities can of course be created in Euclid, but you need to make to keep track of what is the master legal entity because this will be added to the dossier when you create it then afterwards. We also want to make marketing for the foreign user concept that we have in the ECA accounts, which allows for uh, companies to give access to users that doesn't really belong to their company, but want to work on their behalf, like consultants or big conglomerates, where you have uh, everything done from one big company. We also offer another service, which is called the Euclid Cloud Trial. The, the trial is, as the name says, it's supposed to be used for, for testing the service. It's also free to use. We don't take any backups and we limit the, the database size to 100 megabytes because the idea is that you, you test, you try, and then uh, you dismiss the use of it. We also ex uh, updated the existing instances to the new version on the 28th of October. And this is something where we, for example, uh, in the situation where you are used to be using the classical interface of Euclid and you now would want to start preparing yourself for the eminent change to the web user interface uh, and you don't want to do that in your production environment, it might be a good idea to, for example, use the Euclid Cloud trial to organize testing and training sessions uh, for you and your uh, users. Also in the cloud services, we are running the submission services. The submission services that we're running is called DECA Submission Portal. The submission portal is used to submit and follow up PCN and skip dossiers only. So it's to be kept in mind that you cannot submit uh, reach IT, bioside, or uh, any other types of dossier here. The speciality with the submission portal is that it is it's scalable. Uh, it can you can submit much more higher volumes of dossiers. And it allows dossiers also to be submitted uh, from other systems in a way that we call system to system submission. We also offer a trial service uh, for the submission portal that can be used in order to test both the manual submissions and the system to system submissions. Uh, we recommend to go and have a look and read on the PCN and skip websites to get more information about the usage of these submission services. One note to be kept in mind is that the ECA submission portal will integrate the submission of the uh, European Food Safety Agency's 
pesticidal dossiers in the year 2021.